So this is a standard question in inequality. Given that A, B, C cause these real numbers such that the sum of the square equals to 16. And J is as such. You are asked to find the minimum value of J. So note that 1 over 4 minus A can be written as 4 plus A and 4 squared minus A squared. And this can be written as 4 over 16 minus A squared plus A over 16 minus A squared. We are going to write 16 minus A squared as B squared plus C squared. And we are going to write a over 16 minus a squared as 1 over 16 over a minus a. So consider k that is equal to 4 over a squared plus b squared plus 4 over b squared plus c squared and 4 over c squared plus a squared. Using the Cauchy inequality, a square plus b square, b square plus c square, and c square plus a square times k will be greater than or equals to 2 plus 2 plus 2 square. And this is actually double of sum of square, and that is equal to 32. 32k is greater than or equal to 36. So k is greater than or equal to 9 over 8. Note that a plus 64 over 3 squared 3, a squared plus 64 over 3 squared 3, a squared will be greater or equal to 3 and 1 over 3. So multiply, a cancel off, you have a cubed. This is 9 and 3, so 27. And this is 64. 64 actually equals to 4 power 3. And this is 4 power 3. This is so by AM GM inequality. So the Q root, this will be exactly equal to 16 over A. So this means that 16 over A minus A will be less than or equal to um, double of this, that is 1, 2, 8 over 3 squared 3 A squared. And therefore, the reciprocal is greater than or equal to 3 squared 3 a squared over 1, 2, 8. So for 1 over 4 minus a, for this term, we have here. So combine with another 2, then we will get. And therefore, j will be, j will be equal to this. For each of this term in j, it can be further separate into two terms. All the first term, it can combine and become k. And this k is at least 9 over 8. For the second term, it is equal to this one. And after we sum up everything, this will be 3 squared 3, 1, 2, 8, a squared, b squared, and c squared. But the sum of the square is equal to 16. 16 divided by 1 to 8, it is equal to 8. So this will be equal to 8 plus 3 squared 3 over 8. So j will be greater than or equal to this value. And note that the equality holds if and only if. No. The equality holds if and only if, for this case, each of the a and b and c has to be the same. For this whole, it must be if and only if a equals to 64 over 3 squared 3 a squared. And this actually means that a is 4 over a root 3. The equality holds for the term for b and c also 4 over root 3. And we know that if a equals to b, 
equals to c equals to 4 over root 3. Then a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals to 16. And this means that this value is achievable. And j is equal to this value if and only if a equals to b equals to c equals to 4 over root 3. And so we are done. Um, thanks for watching and see you again. Bye-bye.